<gasps> what is that? No, 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 no. Nothing like that fresh mod pack smell. And today we are diving into a new mod pack called Steampunk. And this is by the Lunar Pixel Studio. So if you're familiar with the better Minecraft series and also the medieval Minecraft series that I've done in the past, this is going to be sort of in that vein. So let's begin our journey. Now this mod pack has quite a few quests that we're gonna get into here in a minute. I first though, just wanna gather a couple of basic resources. And perfect, I'm all set up with the basic tools. Now let's take a look at that quest book because this is very important for the start. On the first page, it's going to talk about a couple of base mechanics that this mod pack has in it. And one of those is thin air. The higher you go up and the lower you go down underground, the more you're gonna be affected by air and without a respirator, you won't be able to survive. So you will have to have those mechanics in place in order to survive. There's also cold and hot temperatures in certain biomes and locations that we're gonna have to keep in mind uh, because we won't be able to survive those temperatures. And then also villagers, while still you can farm them as normal, they require very specific comfort levels. And there's also some other mechanics that come with this that are going to be kind of a surprise, but we should be able to complete that. And then it talks about our Tempad improved skills. And then there are Mr. Crayfish's guns in here, which I assume are going to be very, very handy for our setup. And then lastly, it talks about uh, the check marks all throughout the quest book and then all of our controls and all that fun stuff. Also checking out their Discord. By the way, you should also check out my Discord. Discord link down in the description below. Now with that done, I can ponder over here to the left and we have our overworld section. And this is where our journey begins. It really does. As soon as we check this box, we are going to be putting ourselves into normal or hardcore, but it's not the hardcore that you may be thinking of. It's not like the hardcore where you lose your world. It is the hardcore where you are prompted with this ring of the seven curses. Now, it's a double edged sword. Uh, we get a little bit of benefit from this, but we also get a little bit of curses. Um, so if I take a look at this ring and I hold down shift, it says right here, you receive double damage from any source. Neutral creatures are aggressive towards you and armor is 30% less effective. Monsters receive 50% less damage from you. And this is when you're on fire, you burn forever. <laughs> that sounds awful. Every breath tears your, or every death tears your soul apart. And then you suffer from incurable insomnia, meaning you never sleep. But we do get plus one level in uh, looting plus one in fortune, 400% experience dropped, and then we get 10 uh, enchanting power in an enchanting table. So that's pretty cool. And then unique drops from creatures, and uh, it also says functioned as a, uh, a ring of ender, which allows us to access our ender chest once we have one from our inventory. And it says uh, you create, uh, you can create and use unique relics. So this has its uses, um, and I'm going to actually choose this. Uh, because by the default, you just get the acknowledgement, which is the book for the whole mod. But I think this is the only way you can get this ring. And if I choose the hardcore mode, it just gives us the ring. I don't have it equipped yet, though. So I'm going to actually set this aside for right now. And I'm not going to equip it just yet. But as soon as I have this equipped, it is locked onto me permanently. But I'm pretty sure that right there has now put us into the hard mode, which I think we just have to equip it in order to experience those effects. Now I also have an enigmatic amulet. Uh, and in this I can go ahead and equip. This gives us 15% deflect chance, which is pretty cool. And a lot of these uh, sort of charms, they have different aspects associated to them. Um, and so as we start to move along, we're gonna find more of these things 
and it's just going to unlock more and more abilities for us. Now, what are my goals and plans for this pack? I want to use this as a way to design some really cool things with the create mod, but I also want to be hindered by some of these effects. I really love being limited in the amount of mods that I have available to me. And so with this having a unique and limited amount of mods to sort of play with, I am going to be able to explore those mods a lot deeper. Now, by the way, the seed for this world, if you're interested in it, is going to be linked down in the description below. Also, while you're down there checking that out, you might as well click that subscribe button because I would really appreciate it. We're on our way now to a million subscribers and I can't do it without you guys. Now, some of these other quests that we've sort of already done, like crafting a table, we now get a page with ability which is kind of cool. We're going to dive into that a little bit more because there are some abilities. We also get some leather, which is going to be very helpful. But what's this page do? So this is a page ability and we can see, I don't really know what it is right now. It just says crafter. Okay, so if I go ahead and accept this, new skill unlocked, crafter. And it's going into my skill book. But I can't craft a skill book just yet. So also it is getting a little dark. So I noticed on the map, if I hit M, there's a building over here and I'm hoping to find a bed right off the bat. Also, I do have a mini map and I have the ability to toggle it on and off. I just set the hotkey and I'm gonna work my way over here. Hopefully before too much starts to happen at night. Hello, anyone home? This looks kind of nice. Ooh, I don't like that. It says keep out. Hello, there's some chickens some food is anyone home i opened your door oh okay are you friendly i can't i can't tell i just need to use your bed for the night um this guy doesn't let me access him or anything i'm assuming he's a good guy and i might just let him be and maybe we can share this residence it seems we're both outcasts Oh no. Now I wonder if I open his chest, do you get mad at me? Oh, he's not mad. Okay. There's emeralds and iron in here. And there's also tools, string, food. Oh my good. Okay. I mean, I might just stay here for a moment. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to see what else is out here. I noticed there's another chest. Oh, and this one's full of wood. And another axe. Oh man, this guy started to sneak up on me, but I just got an axe. So I should be able to fit him off. Always, man. The creepers are always creeping up on me. Okay, so we picked up a health orb as well. Interesting. There's already a farm and everything over here. That's cool. Oh, and we have quality crops. So what is... <laughs> what is this? This is like some Stardew Valley mod. What? Does that mean villagers are going to require like certain levels of of crops or is it just just based on how much food you get out of it looks like you get like one hunger haunch and you get two out of this with 45 saturation oh so it's like the better quality of the food the the better it heals you so i might as well get some food cooked up here and uh yeah we can get this all started oh i love the textures of everything that is something that this pack has is like some de default textures are changed which is gonna take a little bit to get used to for my uh my my taste but uh It'll be something I can definitely overcome. Now, I should definitely go do some exploring real quick uh, because I have almost enough to be able to make a backpack. I just need a piece of string, so I might be able to find that on my journey. I noticed something on the mini map over here, and I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty cool. It looks like a compass on the map. If I take a look at this, there's a compass right here. So, and I might find some things along my journey. Uh, you know, I'll just continue. Like, for example, we should be able to grab some pumpkins. Normal pumpkin, level one. Jeez! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. I was so confused. What in the world? Who made this? Why would you do such a thing? Okay, that... This is a normal pumpkin. What? <laughs> it's already got my heart racing. Oh! Um, you didn't see anything. Um, uh, I definitely just did not die in a hole there. Um, good thing there's a bucket. Because <laughs> I don't know how else I'd be able to get my stuff back if it wasn't for this bucket, because I fell quite a ways down. 
And this is what I get for not looking down. Oh man, this is definitely a way down, but I should be able to just grab my stuff. Uh, this is, I went way down here. Oh boy, that's good thing. There's not many mobs down here from the looks of it. Never mind. I should probably hurry and grab my stuff. Okay, and back up. Okay, uh, yes, I don't want to stay down there too long. Uh, they didn't look very friendly. I should be way more careful because that could have been pretty bad. By the way, notice our temperature. It is yelling at me right now. Is this the thing? Okay, so I thought that this was some other sort of tower. I am concerned by the temperature. I see a timer going up, it looks like, to 9, 10. I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what this is either. But, oh, it's the string that I need. So I do want to grab this real quick. Because this will be the other string that I need in order to make myself a sophisticated backpack. But what is going to be in here? Is there any sort of loot? Oh, there's a chest. Oh, I'm going to grab this. Oh, is there anything here? Chainmail leggings, some chainmail chest piece, some more string, some chain. I'll take some paper. And there's some suspicious stew. Oh, man. That texture is... That is something, isn't it? All right, I wonder what's upstairs. And I've... Oh, there's a, a monster spawner. This is a skeleton spawner. Maybe because it's daytime, they're not really spawning. Oh, I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna be quick. Oh, nope. They definitely spawned. Okay, so we got some stuff. I just don't know what it is. Ooh, I was risking it. I was risking it. Okay. I don't have any protection at all. I am bare bones. Can I get into water to cool down? Oh, thank goodness. So I guess maybe I could just bring a bucket to hopefully help me cool down in these more extreme temperatures. Now, later on, we'll have the ability to craft some upgrades for our gear that will allow us to withstand those extreme temperatures. But for now, we're just going to have to forego those incredibly hot biomes. For example, whatever this biome was, I, I don't even know what this is. What is this biome? A wasteland. Yeah, I was going to go check this out, but I don't think I'm ready for this. Okay, I, I, I probably should eat. Yeah, I don't think these these guys are happy with me being here. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna try and see. Maybe the big guy won't mess with me too much. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, nope. There's just a little experience in there, those jars. Oh, ooh, what's this? What's this? I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> and I'm gone. I'm gone. They're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna hopefully try and get back home real quick. Uh, and, and craft myself up a backpack so I can do some more exploring. So I ended up finding the Architects Ink Well, and this thing's pretty cool. It allows us to modify, it looks like, uh, format color codes and things like that on items inside of an anvil. So that's kind of neat, um, allowing us to sort of uh, design our own sort of items. But Amethyst Shards, <laughs> that's what we ended up getting from breaking that crystal. Um, and so, yeah, an enchanted book with permafrost and respiration on it. And I did grab myself some chain mill gear, so now I look pretty snazzy. Now with that string and leather, we should now be able to make our first backpack. And this is going to be very helpful, extending our inventory ever so slightly. Ah, yes, a sophisticated backpack. By default, it is just the size of our base inventory. But once we get some iron, we should be able to expand this quite a bit. This also goes in our backpack slot and I can hit B to actually open it up. So no longer do I need to actually have it in my inventory or in my hand to open it. Ooh, and it looks like we get some rewards for crafting a chest and also for crafting a backpack. Ooh, we get an iron chest and we also get a basic barrel upgrade. Now, something I definitely want to be able to craft is a spell book. It requires some gold and some paper, leather, and some books. And I think we can loot all of these things. However, I have to find the buildings to loot. So I think it might be time for us to go on a little adventure. And I've brought my bed with us just in case we find something dangerous. I can place it down. And that way we respawn at the bed and not all the way over here. And speaking of dangerous, I just noticed something nearby. There's a jungle temple nearby. And that definitely seems dangerous, which is right up my alley. Now, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Like, this looks absolutely adorable. Look at the little guy. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of them. But yes, this right here, I'm going to go ahead and set my bed 
nearby. That way we can set our spawn point. And I should be able to break through. <gasps> I wasn't wanting to break through there. Ancient civilization. Wait, is this... There's, there's a villager icon on the map. Okay, if I do break through here... Is there anything I need to worry about? I hear lava. Oh, I should be worried about traps, shouldn't I? It is also very hot here. Okay, so there's lava everywhere. This could be bad, honestly. I, I'm not sure what to expect here. Am I expected to just jump onto this? Oh, oh, okay. What just happened? Am I stuck? Oh, that scared me. Oh, no. It, it did. It placed in walls behind me. Oh, that startled me quite a bit. But what is what is in here? I don't have any torches. There's a chest. I'm so scared of inventories exploding. Okay. Whew. Oh, there's gold. There's gold. There's also some bamboo. I'm going to grab that real quick. That gold is going to help us. Some cocoa beans. Okay, what is this back here? It looks like there's something back behind this wall, but I can't quite tell what it is. It's also so dark. Oh, there's another chest. Making sure there's nothing attached to the back. Ooh, a saddle? That'll be nice. There's a lot of rotten flesh, but I really have no need for that right now. Now, there's an upstairs as well. But I don't think there's really anything up here. Oh, I just realized this is actually a villager in here. Hello. It is. It's a villager just chilling in here. Okay, I'm going to leave you there for now. Stefan. <laughs> uh, or Stephanie, I'm going to leave you here for right now. I might come back for you, though, in the future. Also, while I'm out here, I might as well grab some of these uh, these melons. Oh, wow. Is this an ant colony? Oh. Look at that. That is so neat. They're bringing leaves over. I wonder what this mod does. This is... This is Alex's mobs? Wait. Oh, Alex's mobs is in here. That is fantastic. Oh, I've not seen this from Alex's mobs yet. This must be new. That is amazing. I wonder what functionality this actually has. Because usually Alex's mobs has some deep-rooted functionality. You just have to unlock it in the book and kind of discover what uh, what these ants actually do. So I think what I should do is definitely hop onto a boat and probably boat around these rivers to hopefully unlock new areas so I can kind of view the map and see if there's any new structures nearby. Aha, uh -huh, and just as I suspected, there are some buildings up top here. I should definitely explore those. Is this an emu? <laughs> there's an, an emu. Oh man, I grew up around these things and they are absolutely horrifying. Uh, they are not your friend as much as you might want them to be. Honestly, something that big with a brain that small should just not exist. Ooh, I hear witches, but I also see on the minimap illagers, which has me a little concerned, but I might be able to make my way through here without, ooh, taking too much damage. Okay. There's a sword. That is an immediate upgrade. Name tags. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I don't want the dandelion, but I do want these things. There's another chest. This is food. I'm gonna take some of that. This house definitely seems like it's sort of mixed into the other <gasps> other house. Oh, no, no! And this is what I get for not placing the bed down before going exploring. And you know what the sad part about all of this is? Is I don't even have that ring equipped. So, I'm not even cursed yet. Oh, this is definitely not good. The sun is setting and I haven't made it back to my grave. Oh no, I can already hear the sounds of the mobs. This is not going to be good. I've got to make my way back up the mountain as well. Hopefully no mobs spawn here. Is it dark? Oh, it sounds so quiet. <gasps> what is that? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, 
What in the world? I, I don't want nothing to do with that. Nope, 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 nope. I just gotta grab my stuff. I just could get my stuff and get out of here and sleep through the night. You can see why I do want to sleep. Please, buddy. I need you to fend. Oh, get away. Get away, get away. I gotta try and kill this guy with my bare fist. And. Yeah. Okay, I should be able to grab my stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I probably want to try in my best to sleep if I can. That thing was not friendly looking. Oh my goodness. Um, yes, I should probably continue exploring. I'm going to put all of this stuff for the most part in my backpack. And I might want to, uh, to get back home. Oh, but first I just, I can't help it. I've got to loot a little bit more. I've got to loot all of this. I, I can't just leave this here. This, this seems like a perfectly good house and has a perfectly good amount of, of items in here. There's pitchforks and all kinds of stuff in here. But I'm also kind of worried. Okay, I'm gonna grab the food. Oh, the meat. That's a lot of good stuff. Oh, there's gotta be more things upstairs, I bet, but... Okay, it's just that pillager guy, but... Is it like an evil pillager? I can't tell, or if this is the, the same sort of guy we just dealt with. Okay, I think... Oh, 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 he's a, he's a mean one. He's a mean one. Okay. Whew. Okay, I, I got rid of him. Oh, we had a scythe. Okay, at least I survived that. We got a compass now, some baked potatoes. Okay, I think we should be good. I might... Oh, I want to get out of here. Oh, I, I got to get out of here. Okay. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. These guys are incredibly persistent and incredibly fast. Oh, man. They're a little faster than I am. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to bail. I'm going to have to go. Go for it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm jumping. Whew. Oh, we made it. Oh, they're going to jump too. Okay, I've got a boat out of here. They are coming after me. Oh, perfect. To be able to make the skill book. A little bit of sugar cane. That'll be so nice to get planted. Oh, no. I just had a wandering trader show up after just getting back. Quit killing them. Quit! No! Oh my goodness. Okay, so now they're gonna try and kill me, but I, I need you to stop. Stop, stop, stop. You might have some good stuff. Oh, there's a map for the Nexus. What is that? Uh, do I have enough emeralds? I would really love to buy a map. Okay, I th I should have tons of emeralds. Okay, I have emeralds, and we just found a compass. Oh, uh, where's the compass at? Right here. Oh, don't go away. Don't go away. Oh, this guy spawned in with a map. Come here. Nexus map. Please, please trade me. Also, trade me some cactus. Okay, what a deal. What a deal. Oh, goodness. Okay, you guys can definitely go now. I will take the leads. <laughs> Which will be kind of helpful. Okay, there we go. Much calmer now. Who? what else did you have to trade? Echo shards for some knowledge fragments. Cabbage seeds. I think for the most part, though, we got this Nexus map. And I have no idea what a Nexus is, but we are going to find out. This needs to go on our to-do list. I just realized, by the way, I deleted my friend from this area. Oh, rest in peace. So I now think at this point I should be able to craft up the uh, the actual skill book. Um, so I have one paper here, but we did just find sugarcane. Um, and I should be able to craft up some of the sugarcane to make paper, which will allow me to make some books, even though I didn't have the ability to necessarily uh, to find them. I didn't find any books, unfortunately. Uh, we should still be able to make them. So I'm just going to make this, make another book, and this should be very, very worth it, I hope, uh, to be able to make the book of skills. Okay, so more paper, and then we did find gold. Perfect. Book of skills. I'm interested to see what this is all about. Okay, so inside of our book of skills, we have attack speed, cutting, digging, fast swimmer. Okay, king of the ladder, leaper, mining, PvP protection, soft landing, and strong fist. 
and then we have some abilities, one being a crafter right here. Okay, that's interesting. Do these abilities have the ability to toggle or activate with with keybinds? That would be kind of cool. Oh, this is neat. So we have an XP bank. Okay, so we can store levels in here. So I can store my levels. And so now they're stored within the book. And for example, I can increase my attack speed. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can right now. If I go back, there are apparently upgrades. So if I take all of my experience that I have and I go to my skills, I can use the experience that I currently have to upgrade these abilities. I mean, this just seems like attack speed might be one of the best things to spin points in. So the next one's gonna cost three. Oh wow, we can level this up quite a bit. Okay, so this can go up to seven for right now. We can also increase our mining speed. That seems pretty reasonable. Um, and we now have no more levels. Okay. We do have a bottle of enchanting. This drops some more levels for us. And we can use this, for example, like soft landing, which will help uh, help us reduce our fall damage. That's cool. Okay, and then we also have, these are the uh, the abilities. So the abilities like are something that we can use with this book. Ah, interesting. So now that we've crafted our book once and we now have it, it is permanently inside of our crafting uh, GUI. So we can now click it here to now access all of these things. Ooh, and for this book, we do get a random reward and we get some gold ingots back. Now, I still haven't done any mining yet, so I actually haven't made myself an upgraded iron pickaxe, but now we have, and it says you've learned how to draw a pickaxe with chalk. Okay, wonder what that is from. And right here, we get a respirator for this, and this respirator should allow me to breathe under uh, underground and above ground, which sounds ridiculous, but it should. I don't think it lets us, for example, breathe in water um, because we will still drown. But when we start going to lower elevations, we would also get a bubble bar like that that would start to go down <laughs> the lower we went. Um, and then also with the higher elevations, it, we would also start to technically drown. So now this might be something to keep in stock because if you die, you're going to have a hard time getting this thing back if you've died at the lower elevations or the higher elevations. Now, later on, by the way, with this rebreather that we have, we can utilize create and we should be able to utilize the actual back tank, which is a cool little mechanic, the part of create that we'll be able to dive into. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. I just watched this pike straight up jump out of the water and ate that fish right in front of me. I thought the water was safe. I am definitely mistaken. Now, I definitely think that's enough chaos for one day, and I'm looking forward to getting more into the Create mod and furthering our adventure. With these cool custom sort of tools, I think we're going to be able to make our adventure quite nice, and I'm pretty excited for that. Once I have a stable footing, I will also be equipping the Ring of Sins, and then that will then lock me into a world of pain. I, however, did not want to equip it just yet right at the start because not being able to sleep at night would have made it an endless loop of death. I would have, yeah, guaranteed. This thing is going to be a nightmare once I enable it. But you'll just have to wait till the next episode. And so be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this episode and you want to watch the next few, be sure to definitely give this video a thumbs up and also ring that notification bell there on the subscribe button. Check out the links down in the description below. I do stream over on Twitch. You can find me three days a week, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect, where I do play different packs and they go into my second channel, Chosen Live. If you haven't checked that out, might as well give that a subscribe as well. And now with all that being said, it's now time to thank the amazing supporter of today's episode. And that amazing thanks is going to go out to Bryn Milk, thank you so much, by the way, for your amazing support and supporting me over on the Discord and becoming a Discord Premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible. Also getting access to world downloads every 10 episodes and also getting access to the supporter servers. So thank you very much for your support. And guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And of course, as always, 
Thanks for watching. Bye.